Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we will be doing our budget with me update for January 1st to January 14th. Earlier this month my husband and I came up with a budget for our paycheck for the first half of the month and now we will be going over whether or not we were able to stick to that budget. Now in this specific budget we did buy everything using our debit card but from here on out we plan on doing a all cash budget and so if you're interested in subscribing to watch us as we work more with cash definitely stay tuned this is our budget that we made for january 1st to january 14th and let's go ahead and just jump right into our income. So these are what we expected to receive for that pay period and what we actually earned was my husband earned $1,763.40, meaning that he actually got more money than expected by $290.40. That's because our employer, because my husband and I work for the same company, decided to pay us 27 times last year, but only needed to deduct all of our deductions 26 times. So we got paid minus all of our normal deductions. So we got a little bit of extra money there, which was cool. I received $1,424.81, meaning that I earned an extra $160.81. For FSA, we got exactly what we had expected because I had already requested that money and knew exactly how much I had requested. And then for my side hustle, I also knew exactly how much I was going to earn, and so that was $67.85. We also received, received our stimulus check, which was exciting, and we also got paid a dividend by our credit union account that holds our emergency fund. They give us 3% on the money that we have in our bank account, so that was $25.23 and I just lumped that in with our stimulus check money. That brought our actual total to $6,238.89, which is a ton of money for us. We never are working with that much, obviously, because we got that stimulus check and also our money. From our flexible savings account which is technically money we already spent on my our dependable which is technically money we already spent on our dependent care all right let's move into these fixed expenses obviously these are fixed so they're exactly what we estimated them to be funny enough though we actually did not pay our internet this pay period because they didn't deduct that money so I did just move that over to our next paycheck and took the money out there. We also didn't have to pay nearly as much in daycare this pay period. So when they released the new stimulus bill, there was some sort of like $200 childcare cost credit, something like that. But what our daycare did was they made it so that we didn't have to pay them $200. So our first week we didn't pay for it at all. And then the week after that, we only had to pay $160, which was really cool. I mean, we definitely were able to use that money and save that up. In terms of our groceries, we did go a tiny bit over on this category. We ended up spending $281.59. We did have to purchase a bunch of pet supplies. 
this pay period I kind of forgot and I always am forgetting that we have to buy them cat litter and cat food so I think in the future I'm going to set up a sinking fund for our pets not coming in this next paycheck but maybe the paycheck after and so we are going to decrease our groceries knowing that in the future we're going to use a different category for pets and we don't buy stuff for our pets every single week but we were over six dollars and 59 cents in terms of gas we went over there too we spent 72 dollars and 41 cents we did start out the paycheck period by coming back from visiting my family which lives about three hours away from here and so we did end up overspending there mostly because we had some unusual travel that we didn't necessarily account for we went over $22.41. Surprisingly, we actually were under on our out to eat category, which was really exciting. We spent $145.37. I'm really proud of us, especially because this pay period, with all the travel that we were doing, we were doing a ton of eating out at um, different fast food places and grabbing snacks at gas stations and things like that. So I'm really proud of us that we had $4. And 63 cents left over I did end up putting that, that money towards some of our goals later on in our budget in terms of our fund money we did spend some of it but then all of the leftover money we actually just rolled over into our sinking fund so if you're interested in seeing exactly how much we had left over in any of these categories I'd encourage you to check out my cash stuffing envelope video I have made cash envelopes for these and so you can see how much we have left over but for the budget sake we ended up just putting down a hundred because there is no more money left in those categories and I didn't use any of that extra money to fill any of these sinking funds that I'm gonna get into right now so we did great um, working on these sinking fund goals so we assumed we would only be able to put away $1,750 away for taxes, and we were actually able to put in $2,497.68. That comes from these different expenses where we saved a little bit of money on. We got a little extra income our way as well, um, and I'm really, really proud of ourselves for sticking to our budget and being able to put away so much money. Next, we put $40 away for our phone bill and that was exactly what we expected it to be. We are having a sinking fund to pay for our phone bill, which we receive annually. We were able to put away $689.03 into our school sinking fund. We did actually have to take money out of the sinking fund as well. I just started classes and so I did have to buy my textbooks which were almost $200 which is really crazy and I also had to buy a dry erase board because I'm taking the GMAT later next month which is the entrance exam into my Masters of Business Administration program and you have to have a whiteboard in order to do all of the number problems so we saved more but only because we put more into the school fund to try and balance it out. We so far are well on our way to having at least the next semester covered and we're going to be building up for that fall and next spring semesters as well. Leftover, we had a total of zero dollars um, because we are trying to have a zero based budget here but obviously I wanted to make sure we had a little bit of that wiggle room just to get us started because I really wasn't too sure about what our expenses would really look like. So I'm pretty proud of ourselves for attempting to stick to this budget, especially because this sort of budgeting is pretty new to our family. And I'm excited to actually start this next pay period by doing cash envelope budgeting. So you will actually get to see all of the cash that we are spending. And I have done some videos on it. I have my cash envelopes actually right next to me right now. If you are interested in following along on our journey, please go ahead and subscribe. We would love to have you here and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.